Breaking, President Trump tries to get back on Twitter and gets banned again. Hello, folks. My name is Jenner from Golden State Times. Welcome back to the newsroom. And today I have a breaking news story. This one comes courtesy of GoldenStateTimes.com. And it says, Twitter has suspended an account created to share posts from a website recently launched by President Donald J. Trump, claiming the new handle is an attempt to bypass the suspension of his personal account. In the latest move by a major social media company limiting Trump's ability to spread his message to his supporters. It says the new site from the desk of Donald J. Trump went live on Tuesday as reported by Golden State Times, as did its accompanying Twitter handle at DJT Desk. By late Wednesday night, the account had been suspended. A Twitter spokesperson told reporters, quote, as stated on our ban evasion policy, we'll take enforcement action on accounts whose apparent intent is to replace or promote content affiliated with a suspended account. So just for some clarification, if you have a Twitter account and you share one of President Trump's old tweets, you will get suspended. If you do any report or talk about something that had to do with Trump and Twitter and show one of his old tweets, you will get banned. That is how it works on Twitter and on Facebook and on YouTube and on Reddit. That's how it works. It's always worked that way. There was a report the other day of a Twitch streamer that was banned and came out on another Twitch streamer's live stream. That person that put that old, the, the, the other Twitch streamer got banned for having someone that was previously banned on their account. They did nothing else wrong other than have the other person that got banned on their live feed. That is how crazy these social media companies are. It goes on to say that Twitter also suspended the account of Carolyn Levitt communications director for representative Lee Stefanik late Wednesday before reinstating it Thursday morning. And they said, quote, the only reason I can think that Twitter would have suspended me is that I followed several Republican members of Congress and GOP activists at once last night. And within minutes, my account had been suspended. So that is what she told reporters. And uh, Twitter came out and told Fox News, quote, the account was suspended, quote, in error, according to to them. So as you guys know, President Trump had already started his own social media platform. It's not a site yet. Nobody can sign up. It's just him being able to put out what he is thinking at the moment on his own personal website. So he shares videos and uh, tweet, you know, what you would consider a tweet and uh, other, you know, endorsements and stuff like that on his own account called from the desk of Donald J. Trump. It is on his website. If you haven't checked it out yet, go to his website, donaldjtrump.com, and you'll see it on there. It's called The Desk or just Desk. So go and check it out. But let us know what you guys think about this whole situation. President Trump trying to get back on Twitter and gets banned a second time. And uh, anyone else that shares anything that has to do with Trump in the near future, when he starts campaigning or when he starts doing rallies or speeches or press conferences, if anyone that is not the mainstream media covers it, they will get banned. That's why they're making it more extremely difficult for us here at Golden State Times to cover the former president and now future candidate. So we're trying our best to make sure that we go around the censors, but it's becoming extremely difficult. So stay tuned live here at Golden State Times for more coverage, not only on the former president, but everything that has to do with politics. So if you're new to the channel, subscribe and click that notification bell. Also, make sure you follow us on Twitter. You like us on Facebook. And if you're on Parler or Gab, make sure you follow us at Golden State Times. Also, make sure you click the thumbs up button, folks, because that helps us beat the YouTube algorithm. And make sure that you share this video on social media. Visit our website, the only place we cannot get banned, goldenstatetimes.com. Again, that's www.goldenstatetimes.com. My name is Jen Goldstein, and I hope to see you here on the next one. But until then, peace. Oh, and by the way, 
for the people that are saying, well, just go on Gab and go on Parler, go to Parler right now and you'll see that it's shut down. According to them doing maintenance, but I don't know what maintenance takes almost two days for them to, to accomplish. And on Gab, it just doesn't work. Video is crappy. There is no such thing as live streaming. And if there is, it's really, really bad. So those two sites as of right now are not at the potential that all these other sites could be, which makes it frustrating and it makes it even more difficult to, to, uh, to show the news and to report the news. So as of right now, Gab and Parler are both useless. Thank you so much, folks, and we'll see you soon. Peace.